Pops, it's Sam. Today I'm going to do my Sunday sizzles and fizzles. Uh, we are going to be having a power outage in our house all day tomorrow, which will be Sunday. So I can't film it tomorrow, so I'm going to have to film it today instead. Um, the first thing that I actually just recently got is the Lily Lolo Mineral Blusher in Doll Face. And I'm wearing it today as my highlight. And this is so beautiful. I wouldn't technically even call this a blush because it would be really, really... Um, sparkly. I mean, you could use it as a blush, but I use it as my highlight. That's what it looks like. Let me just swatch it for you. Um, so you can see right there, it's like a really pretty uh, light pink shimmery powder. Now this is very shimmery and like almost sparkly, so if you're someone who likes more of a subtle highlight, then you probably wouldn't like it. But if you're someone who like likes sparkle and shimmer and glimmer like me, then you can just see how beautifully it just kind of highlights your cheekbone, which I think it's fun to always have a little something shimmery and sparkly for the holiday seasons. So I really, really love that. I think it's so beautiful. Next thing I have also been loving, and I want to say uh, I noticed that I had a lot of like, you know, kind of negative comments on my M, M Cosmetics uh, video. And I don't ever want you guys to think that just because the company sent it to me, I'm going to automatically give them a good review. And um, I, I told the products that I didn't like, and I also told you guys the products that I do like. And I think, I feel kind of bad because I feel like she's kind of getting a negative rap, and some people are like automatically just saying, oh, it's a bad product because it's expensive, or, you know, I'm not sure. But I actually did, it was, my review was completely honest and it was exactly what I thought. I told you guys the products that I didn't like and I told you the products that I did like. And so this is going to be one of them and please don't think that they are paying me to say this. They're not at all. We're going to be traveling in a few days and this is the palette that I'm actually going to be taking. It's just a small one um, of the, you can take the stuff out of the Life palette. So I just wanted to show you the colors that I will be taking because I literally love these colors so much. The specific colors that I like the most, and this is probably what I'm going to be wearing while I'm there, is this one right here, which is a really beautiful, uh, it's like a coppery gold peach. And then I also love this one, which is a really beautiful peachy, peachy coral. This burnt orange, which is gorgeous. And then I really like this khaki as well. And then also I'm going to be probably using this on my highlight and it like really helps the inner corners like pop. But um, they, I really do like these colors. I think they're so beautiful, especially if you have blue eyes. So mine is out of the beach palette and I just popped these. And can I say like the mirror is really, really big. So I'm actually, this is kind of perfect for my trip because then I don't have to worry about bringing my big huge mirror, which is what I usually do. And um, I've got all my shades in here. So... I don't want you guys to think that that review was swayed in any way. I, I was telling you my real thoughts, people, so just had to throw that out there. Um, okay, the next thing that I really have been loving is the... I just put this on, so I can't say I've been loving it for super long, but when I put it on, I was like, whoa, this is beautiful. Um, this is the Zoya uh, Mason polish. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that color. And it's so perfect for the fall, so I just love that. I haven't been using my gel nail polish because my nails really broke off, and um, not because of, well, I don't know if it was because of that, but they got really short, so it's kind of hard to, like, I find it difficult to paint your nails with gel polish when your nails are a little shorter. So, bummer. Okay, the last favorite that I have, that's everything. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a quick one. Um is the Be Delectable from Cake Beauty Strawberry and Cream Hand Cream. This hand cream smells exactly like Chupa Pops. Those suckers I used to have like, you know, years ago, it smells exactly like strawberry and cream. It's so yummy. It makes your hands feel so soft. Um, I've been wearing it all the time and Jay like loves the smell. So, and it's a super cute little container too. So uh, if you're looking for a good hand cream, which you guys know uh, right now is not the most moisturizing season. My hands have been so dry, so I've been using this all the time, and I just absolutely love it. It just smells so good. As far as fizzles go, I have two. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I used to wear this all the time, and I was like, oh, I'm going to try this again. I don't know why I used to wear it. I did not like it. I just, I don't know, maybe my skin's changed. It just didn't make my skin look that flawless. It just, I don't know, it didn't really do anything for me. So that's weird because I used to love it, but now not so much. Um, and then 
The M with the Great Cover Up Ultimate Concealer was just a loser for me. I didn't particularly care for it. It made my eyes like really dry and crepey underneath. It just didn't look uh, flattering on me. The color was too yellow, so that one didn't work out for me. Those are my Sunday sizzles and fizzles on a Saturday, but that's okay. I can film whenever, you know? Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this has helped. Um, I do have a tutorial coming up for this look in case you're wondering, so if you're like, hey Sam, what's on your eyes? Hey Sam! Whatever. Um, that'll be coming up next week, so, or maybe it'll, yeah. That'll be coming up next week. So, um, I hope that you guys like my Sundays and Sizzles and Fizzles. Yeah. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.